Once upon a time, there was a pottery instructor who divided his students into two groups. Students in the first group have to each make a pot at the end of 30 days. Students in the second group have to each make a pot every day. When we look at the results, in almost all cases, students in group 2 had the best pots. So the moral of the story is that the most effective form of building a habit or a skill is practice, not planning. The third step in the habit formation process is the response. And the trick is to make it easy. From habit building perspective, and often also skill building perspective, it is more important to keep doing something repeatedly and frequently than to do it perfectly but rarely. It is important to focus on actually taking action and not just plan. For example, if you want to build a habit of running, it is important to aim for more frequent runs than to aim for one perfect run under ideal conditions. Or if you want to practice cooking, instead of aiming to make one seven course meal, it is more important to actually practice cooking every day. When you start building a new habit, it should be possible to do the habit in less than two minutes. This largely reduces the friction to actually start doing it. Nearly any habit can be scaled down to a two minute version of it. For example, read before going to bed each night becomes read one page. Do 30 minutes of yoga becomes take out the yoga mat and switch to yoga clothes. Or fold the laundry becomes fold one shirt. It is often also helpful to think about one time actions that we can take that actually puts us on the track to picking up the habit. For example, if you want to improve your financial habits, it takes one time effort to actually go through the subscriptions you are paying for and to filter some things out or to check with the bank about what's a good investment option so that you can periodically invest into a mutual fund or something like that. If you want to drink more water, buy a few water bottles and put them in different parts of the house where you hang around so it constantly reminds you to drink more water. Or if you want to cut down on social media, you have to make a one-time effort to install an application that tracks and reminds you of your social media habits. Moving from planning to doing, thinking of the two-minute version of your habits and taking some one-time actions are some ways you can make your habits easy to do. If you are among the people who actually find it easy to do the habit, but you just find it difficult to keep coming back to it, to do it consistently, then check out the next video where we talk about how to make your habit satisfying so you keep coming back to it.